Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maca here, playing Tunic, recently added to Game Pass, and in this video, I'll show you how to grab the Bring It to the Wrong Fight achievement, which is for finding a certain weapon before getting a sword, and there is a hint on page 38 of the in-game manual on how to do this. Now, if you wanna do this as easily as possible, go to the main menu and make sure you turn on no fail mode and no stamina restrictions. You basically are invincible. At this point, you will want to start a new game on a new save, as this needs to be done from the very beginning of the game before you grab the sword. This can take several hours if you were to play naturally, but I'll show you how to grab it in about 10 minutes. Now, personally, I would recommend you grab this after already completing the game because you'll know the map pretty well and have a general idea of where things are and how the mechanics work, but you can do this really at any point. Now, obviously, there will be some light spoilers here, so keep that in mind, but from the very beginning of the game, run forward, cross the bridge, go into that first door on the left by the mailbox, and here you will find the stick. Next up, you would normally find the sword. We're going to skip the sword and make a beeline for the gun, which is found in the quarry. But to get to the gun, we will need the hook shot, which is found in the frog's domain to the south of the overworld. So let me show you a couple of shortcuts. Run up the stairs. You can also hold A to sprint. There will be some sprinting in this video just to get through certain sections. You will eventually get to your first kind of flame altered checkpoint. And here you can go down the stairs on the left and I'll show you the first little shortcut which is going through this hallway behind the waterfall. This will allow you to skip a pretty sizable section of the game and you can continue following this path until you reach this chest and cross the bridge here. There will be some enemies that do spawn here and there. We can pretty much ignore them. We do have invincibility mode turned on or you can fight them if you really want. Continue down the path, ignore the door to the dungeon and then we can start making our way down to the bottom of the screen. You will notice that bell, that western bell on the edge of the screen there. But our goal is just to run to the end of the walkway. This will allow us to drop the uh, little connecting bridge. And you will probably have to take care of all of the enemies here, which is okay. Uh, take care of them and then cross that bridge. And you'll notice another drawbridge here that we can extend. This will just link us back to where we started, but it's really important that we get both of these bridges and I'll show you why. You'll come across this key, you can just ignore it and go back to the flame altar. We will interact with it. This will respawn all of the enemies, a very important thing to do because now we can retrace our steps, go back across those two bridges that we were just at and we can lure one of the sword enemies here to follow us. We'll be using this enemy to cut down the bushes for us. Since we don't have a sword, we can't progress through the section where the game wants you to use the sword. We'll need to use this enemy and or bombs or fireworks to get through these bushes. It's a lot easier to get the enemy to do it for you than to uh, try to get bombs than what if you miss a bomb throw or uh, it just takes longer as well. So get this enemy to cut down the bushes for you and you are free to go. Ignore the windmill, go down the ladder. You'll go by the old house. You can basically just sprint by all of these enemies and we are trying to make a quick and precise effort to go to the frog's domain. So if you follow along this path, you'll end up at the fountain, go down the stairs, and here you can pretty much, you're gonna be going to the beach and then going underneath the kind of purple light energy rail. And this will kind of uh, be your guide towards going to the frog domain. Now here there is a very well hidden ladder you'll need to use. But if you had played the game already, you probably would have seen this ladder on the map and it probably would have given you a good idea of uh, its existence and how to get here. This will get you to the ruined atoll, and from here we're going to be going to the frog's domain. So go down the stairs from that altar, follow around the lake, past the crabs, go up the stairs here, and we're trying to go to the basically top middle of the screen. 
You see how there's four little uh, rails that are connected to the central area. We want to go for the one at the top of the screen. If you had uh, the instruction manual for this area, it would show you exactly where to go on one of the pages. Go under this bridge, you'll see a chest. Go past that chest, the camera will flip. This will show you a secret ladder. Take that ladder up, go into the dungeon. Once in here, you can take the ladder down, ignore the enemy, take the next ladder down, and you are now in the hookshot dungeon. There will be a lot of different staircases and ladders, but we're basically just trying to go down as deep as we can. Again, feel free to ignore the enemies overall unless you need to fight them. But because we are invincible, unless you don't want to be invincible, you want to feel like you tried harder, you can. But if you are invincible, it's super, super easy. Just keep going down to the bottom of these stairs. Once at the very bottom of the ladders, we're going to make a quick and precise effort towards the hookshot, ignoring most of the enemies, go through the door, come to the end of the hallway. Watch out for this enemy. He likes to shoot out his tongue and grab you back, which is kind of annoying. But once you make it through the door, just continue along the edge and you'll be able to work your way down further. It can be a little bit confusing to navigate all of these walkways if you haven't already been here, which is why at the beginning of the video, I did recommend kind of doing this at the end or after you've already had some experience with the game. I wouldn't recommend doing this as like the very first achievement you go for, even though it's very possible. Um, but if you just work your way down all these walkways, you'll eventually reach the end here. Uh, there's a little uh, walkway across, there's a couple of frogs, you'll want to keep working your way towards that top right of the screen. You'll be able to open up the gate, then you'll be able to go back across those walkways and then go through that gate that we just opened. And then once you get through that gate that we just opened, you'll be brought to the next screen. Here you can just go through this kind of secret crack in the wall, which is our actual place we're supposed to go. You would know that through a instruction manual page. It's not something you're supposed to find. You're kind of supposed to do the research to get you there. Go diagonally across the room into another little shortcut up the two ladders. Here you'll be able to slam down the bridge, which connects back to the opening of the area if you want. That's mostly for if you fail this fight, which we're not going to do because you know, how can we fail if we have invincibility mode on? But work your way to the top of the stairs and accept the hook shot. We now have the hook shot, which is really the only real item we need in order to get the gun in the quarry. So let's leave this area. And uh, it can get a little bit annoying with all the enemies trying to attack you. But you can now equip your hook shot, use the left trigger to aim at hook shot points and you'll be able to hook shot your way out of uh, the frog's domain by uh, using all of the hooks that the game has conveniently set up for us. Uh, you'll be able to just hook shot your way out, basically. Uh, the hook shots are made in a specific way so that you can get out of the area really, really quick and easy. Once we get out of the frog's domain, we're gonna basically make a beeline for the quarry, but there is a couple of shortcuts here that you may benefit from, so make sure you keep watching. Now, once you do climb up the ladder, don't go up the next ladder to leave. Instead, go through the little balcony, and here you can hookshot your way out, and it's basically a shortcut that leads back to the flame altar. Now, at the flame altar, you may not know this, but there is a fast travel system in this game, and we are going to use it. Stand on this golden square and hold A to be transported to the teleporter room, and it should bring you to this square here. Now, we should have another couple of squares open based on where we've been in the game, and we want to take this square near the top right. This square will lead us back to near the windmill and old house. Now we are trying to get to the quarry. There are two different ways to get to the quarry. I'm gonna do the kind of secret shortcut way here, which is by using the forbidden pass. Just follow the paths like shown in the video and you'll be able to find a little shortcut that goes underneath one of the ladders that leads to the Western Bell. After that, you'll find an enemy that's sitting on a thin bridge and use your hook shot in order to make them fall off the map. Continue going forward, go up the ladder. Here you'll end up behind the gate at the Forbidden Pass. Use the path to end up in the next screen. 
follow that path around the corner. Here you'll be able to use your hookshot in order to get to a central locational pillar. Use your holding A to uh, basically make this pillar shift into the ground. This will continue the power along the rail. You'll be able to now hookshot back uh, to the main path and then follow that rail to the quarry. The next minute or so of the video will be navigating the quarry to get towards the gun. Like I said earlier, there's a couple of different ways to get to the quarry, but if you're going for this achievement, this might be the only way, but it's definitely the fastest way as well. Navigate forward until you do reach the pillar. Use that pillar to continue the power deeper into the quarry and then follow the bridge until you reach a more open area where we actually have some space to do turns. At the end, you will also find a flame altar with a checkpoint and a fast travel point. Now this last 30 second stretch here does involve a couple of shortcuts and secret places, so pay attention closely. Also when you do approach like enemies and pillars, you'll have a weird screen effect which makes it hard to see. But we're just going to go up and we can find this secret uh, little passageway that leads underneath this chest. We can exit out through here and go down this ramp, go further down the ramps until you reach the bottom. Once you reach the bottom, there is another secret passage in the wall kind of behind it. This will lead to an open area where you can find a gun in the chest and the achievement will unlock. You can now use this gun as a weapon in your inventory. You can practice using it against enemies and on the targets nearby. Thank you so much for watching the video. Special thanks to AJ for capturing the gameplay. Super special thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show and hopefully I see you soon. Peace.